Hello, everyone. This is Tim. I'm Peter. Welcome to a new episode of the OC Show. First of all, there's going to be a live Q and A sometime Sunday. Yes, actually. So as usual, Sunday 9 p.m. Eastern time, we'll have a Q and A on Twitch. So if you guys have some questions about what we are saying today, just come along. And actually, this time Truthman won't be here, so we will be all by ourselves in the new studio. So it's going to be interesting. Yeah, it's like I've been asked to join the Q and A for the first time. Uh, first time I'll actually make it to the Q and A as well. So that is going great be, success. That's going to be great. Yeah. Um, First things first, we moved into a new office and we're actually in a new sort of a live stream video kind of a room. Yeah. Uh, what's the plan with all this? We should definitely post a picture of, uh, of what it looks like right now. So the plan for all this is actually to do more videos. So uh, before we were in the office and it was not really that much of space to do things. So now we have space to do more videos. We will be using the studio a lot more, maybe do more live stream as well from this place since we have a lot better internet than we used to have with our ADSL connection. So um, now it's going to be, yeah, very cool. And I hope some other clockers will sometimes swing by to, you know, to have their own session here or something like this so you guys can have a look. So that's going to be pretty interesting. Yeah, it's a, there's already some uh, soundproofing going on. There's a, a bit of soundproofing going wrong. You'll see that in the picture once we put it yeah, up yeah. Uh, on uh, on the Facebook or oh yeah, somewhere like that. Yeah. So Instagram, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> So um, among the things that happened lately, uh, we should tell you guys that if you missed it, the after movie of the world tour is out. Uh, so, you know, as usual, every time there's an event, OCT makes a nice after movie. And this time we had the chance to have a uh, Truthman dedicated, uh, dedicating a bit of his time to, um, to produce the voiceover. So if you want to have a little look into it, I suggest you to go to the YouTube uh, page from OCTV and check it out. There's also a written report by Stu on the HW front page. Yep. Uh, if you're into reading stuff, you can go to that one as well. With lots of pictures and yep. very nice report. So check it out. So talking about HW but there has been some polls again, and I'm oh. not sure who ignited this poll again. So yeah, <laughs> this is pretty pretty interesting. Um, well, interesting. It's it's a thing. Um, at HWBot, we have a different cl classification for, for benchmarks. So you have the final benchmarks, which can have points or no points. Mm -hmm. But then we also have uh, beta benchmarks. Those are the benchmarks that we'll try out for a while and then see if they're consistent and if they're good enough for competitive uh, overclocking. If they don't have too many flows and yeah, possible so, yeah. hacks. Or Basically, yeah. Um, and our staff looked into uh, the beta benchmarks, I think, a couple of weeks ago. And mm -hmm. they found five of them which are not so reliable. So we made a poll on the on the website to determine whether or not we'll just can those benchmarks, archive yeah. them, or um, we keep them and add points to it. So you plan to remove potentially all of those five, or just uh, we'll we'll, do, we'll the, the plan is to do the same like uh, we did with Cysoft Sandra a long long time ago. So you're 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 not going to have any rankings anymore. You're not going to no. be able to submit. You're not going to have any cups. Definitely no points because there was never any points for those benchmarks. Okay, so that's not going to affect that much the rankings. Actually. Only the people that were collecting the cups and those res res no. respective benchmarks will will see a, a drop in it. But it's a, it's sort of finding a balance between do we keep a benchmark for the cups or can't do we can it if it's if, if it's bad enough yeah. Yeah. okay well that's gonna be interesting we'll see what people decide huh? uh, moving on there's a uh, talking about benchmark again future mark um, had a very nice gesture actually uh, so some of you guys are big fans of running old benchmarks we call them legacy benchmarks so that means 3d mark one or benchmarks like this up to 3 mark or six and later and basically um, you could not buy those benchmarks anymore so yeah, you cannot buy the benchmarks. And the annoying part is that those legacy benchmarks have this system where you have to enter a key before you can select the actual um, subtests that give you the points. So yep. for example, in 3D Mark 03, if you don't have a if you don't have a key, you don't have a license, you and you run the benchmark, you'll run all the four graphic tests that contribute to the score. Mm -hmm. But then also some of the some of the uh, I'm not sure what it's called exactly feature tests. Called. Okay, yeah. So, but those don't contribute to the points. And if your system is on the edge of stability, you want to sort of you want to cancel those. Yeah. So you just escape, go away. Yeah. And Another problem is that we need to have verification links for those scores mm -hmm. as well. And if you don't have a key, you, you don't get the link. Well, you can you can create a link, but you cannot um, save them all in, in your profile. So okay. you need to have all different kind of emails for all of your different verification links, and it's a hassle because. Those benchmarks are EOL anyway. 
Yeah, so you there was not really any support from Future Mike either, or you had to go no. through Passy all the time. And I guess they, they received quite a lot of emails from overclockers about that over the years. Yeah, so the cool thing is that Christian, our, uh, our uh, result moderator, head of moderating guy, he has a good contact with Future Mark, mm -hmm. uh, at Passy, who yeah. actually Passy also joined in the World Tour event. That was pretty cool. Yeah. So they worked out a way to have an HW open key. So anyone can use that key and submit the results to his own account. That's which is awesome. Cool. It's for yeah. a 3 Marco 1, 3 Marco 3, 3 Marco 5, 3 Marco 6, PC Marco 2, PC Marco 4, and PC Marco 5. Ah, PC Marco 5. Oh, yes. Yes. Some guys would be happy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that's a great news, actually. To get more information about it yeah. and to know all the keys, you can go on the forums. There's a thread. Yeah. Um, you can put it somewhere in the video link. Yeah, or so at the top of the forum, the keys are listed there. So if you want to use them, just grab those keys. They are free to use. And yeah, but you have to give the link to the guys. Yeah, yeah. Either, like, I don't know. Can you do, like, annotations? with? I can do annotations and click clicks. So you decide wherever you want it. <laughs> so, so fancy. <laughs> All right, so um, new competitions at HW Bot, uh, well, OC Esports actually, uh, coming up uh, right now that actually already started since almost a week is the ROG OC Showdown uh, formula, the round two of it. And there again, uh, three benchmark, XTU, HW Bot Prime, and the last one. Is it GPU Pi? GPU Pi, it is. Uh, so yeah, as usual for this competition, there's uh, some cool prices uh, up for grabs. Of course, the, for the top winning spots, there's some Core i7, some motherboards, uh, some HyperX memory, some HyperX SSDs, and also some NMAX uh, water cooling uh, kits, uh, all in one. And then if you want to try your chance, even if you cannot make it to the top, there's some cool uh, giveaway prizes or like a lucky draw prizes for those of you that participate in all the stages, of course. And those are like as well, there's some motherboards and some different things, so some t-shirts, some cool stuff. So. Definitely a competition to check out. There's already almost uh, 30 participants. Something 30, like yeah. that. Yeah. So um, you guys yeah, should get into there. There's three weeks left. Uh, no other competition started. All the other ones were already running. So you have uh, still the Challenger Series running for the second round. You have um, the Old School is Best School, uh, round three, actually, which is going on right now. I think now. round two oh, and round two? three are currently running. Yeah, OK. So that's some cool stuff for you guys if you have some old hardware on hand. And of course, the novice, uh, the rookie rumble is ending this weekend. So if you guys want to still make it, you still have uh, about two days to to get into there. If not, you're gonna have to wait another week before the next rookie rumble starts. And the novice nibble, a month left. So for this one, quite relaxed. Just make sure you join the team and you go on the forums to to chat and make a get a strategy. We put up a, we put up a guide on how to yeah. join a team because it's actually not that not that simple. But yeah, it's when a bit. Uh, you have to look into your profile and it's a bit hidden uh, in there. So put put a link somewhere. Yeah, and for the novices that got the email, there's actually a link to that post which explains you how to join inside the email you got. So make sure to always read the emails because it's not spam. It's just some cool stuff about how to enter. Right, so don't forget guys, um, Sunday 9 p.m. Eastern time, that will be 3 a.m. in the morning in Europe and uh, 9 a.m. here on Monday morning Hong Kong 9 time. Yes, 9 a.m. So you're going to have to wake up at 6, uh, something like this. <sighs> okay, yeah. Uh, so, you know, the joy of live stream. And, um, yeah, we'll see you on the live stream. Uh, hopefully you will be there and we're going to have some cool time. If you miss it, don't worry, there will be the replay. And until then, don't forget, keep pushing it.